Hey everybody, I'm that old chap, and I am coming to you from beyond the grave. Not actually, I'm I'm very much alive. But um, I was just thinking that it, it would be really fun. Well, not fun, because I guess dying isn't really fun. But when I die, I feel like I want to put out some kind of uh, some kind of video, or like record a video before I die if I'm on like on my deathbed or something, and then have have you know one of my friends or something put up a video. Where I talk to people from beyond the grave. That would just be really, really freaky. I don't know. I feel like my intros to all my videos are getting progressively worse as I go. I don't know. Like, I always try and do something funny or interesting or just way the hell out there at the start of my videos. Because, you know, a lot of times when people come watch your videos from other places, if they get, like, view referrals or something like that from YouTube, then typically they'll watch the first, like, 30 seconds or something of, of a video. And if they're not entertained or if they don't like what they're seeing... Then they'll click off and they'll go watch something else or they'll go just get on with their day. So that's why I try and really uh, really mix it up at the start of all my videos. To try and attract a wide viewing audience, I guess you could say. And just to, to keep you interested in the content that I'm putting out here on YouTube. Now quickly, the game that you are seeing is uh, a little bit of pub stompage. Um, with Black Ops 2, I don't know, I have very good games, and then I have very bad games at the same time. Like, I, my kill death in this game is absolutely terrible, and this game frustrates me to no end. But then I put up, like, these huge scores whenever I play the objective, and I, I just go off. And that's what you guys are going to be seeing right now. Um, the gameplay that you are seeing is some type of capture the flag gameplay. I think it's Meltdown. Um, basically me and, uh, me and my buddy Chris, hey Chris, this is, it's a shout out for you, cause I love you, not in a totally, totally platonic and non-homosexual way, but, uh, we jumped into this game in the second round and we kind of dominated, put up a big score and I look really fancy in MLG when you guys are watching this, but... I'm not going to be talking about the game like always. I am considering talking about the game in future videos, but as it is now, I like uh, I like the the randomness of my commentaries right now and how they're not necessarily related to gaming because I don't think I really bring enough to the table at this point to to talk insightfully about Black Ops 2 or video games in general for like seven or eight minutes. I personally don't think that's entertaining to hear somebody say, like, I threw a Semtex because I thought somebody was here and then I started shooting. You know, I, j I just don't personally find that entertaining and, and that's probably why my commentaries have taken this completely different shape. But, you know, hopefully that's why, that's why you check out my videos, that's why you like the content that I'm putting out here. Now today, I want to talk about a couple things. Some some type of um, proverbial kind of uh, kind of ye old proverb action, uh, specifically around financial and, and monetary issues. And uh, the first thing that I want to talk about is basically this idea of mo money mo problems. And I'm sure everyone has heard that for years and years. I'm sure it's it's centric to a lot of rap songs and stuff like that but you know whatever the origins i haven't looked it up i probably should have in hindsight to to have some kind of insightful video but i haven't looked it up i just wanted to to chat about it really quick give my views on that and what i think about this idea of uh the the stronger you are financially the more the more problems you're gonna have in other aspects of your life and i think this is is true in some respects and it's also horribly horribly incorrect in other respects Obviously, if, if you're more secure financially, then you're going to be able to do more things that you enjoy. Say if you enjoy traveling, a lot of people are hard-pressed to travel because they don't have the necessary funds to go out, go halfway across the world, see the sights, do whatever you like to do on vacation. Um, you know, if, if you have the money for this, then, then obviously you're, you're going to be happy. And money often contributes more happiness than it does problems, but then you run into to the kind of thing where uh, where people people are out to get you just because you have your money, or you have uh, the the women folk who are quote unquote attracted to you, but that's only because you have money and they want to get to your money, and that's that's what Kanye likes to call a gold digger. That song is is really great. It's very old, but it has some very very true respects in that that some people in the end only like you because of your money and that is clearly one of the problems that that 
takes place, the more money you have. Like that's so many billionaires and millionaires out, millionaires out there. They say that dogs specifically can be the best companion because dogs specifically they they love you regardless of the fact that you have money or not. Like they it truly is man's best friend in the respects that dogs are just they love you unconditionally and that's what so many people find appealing about dogs and that's why so many people who have money who are so concerned about these these gold digging gold digging people they they will get dogs to to kind of take the place of some of this companionship that they can't get because they're so paranoid that somebody is going to come in and take all of their money now the second uh, proverbial thing that i wanted to talk about well i still have some time left in this video i know that it's quickly coming to an end is the idea that money can't buy happiness and again much like what I was saying about uh, the whole mo money mo problems issue, is that it's both it's both true and false in some respects. Obviously, money itself does not bring happiness, but it's the ability and the financial freedom to go out and do what you enjoy doing, and that will bring you the happiness. Like some people obviously hate their job, but if they had you know, if they were a little more financially secure, then they wouldn't have to do this, and they'd be more happy, you know, trying to pursue a career that they like. Maybe they're they're into gaming, or maybe they're into some kind of, you know, culinary aspects. So money in itself, I don't think, can bring you happiness. But it's it's the idea that being financially secure is is going to allow you to do things that make you happy, which are going to contribute to your overall happiness in the end. So that's basically what I wanted to talk about this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my philosophical kind of take on everything. I um, hope you guys are having, having a great time right now. I am not because it's exam season right now, so I'm just studying a lot. And that's, you know, it happens. It comes with school. You got to work hard. You got to work hard to get somewhere in life. Well, not always, but that's not what I want to talk about. It's a good good thing to work hard at anything you do. You know, put your mind to it, buckle down, study hard, and all of that fun stuff. I hope you guys are doing really well. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Thank you for checking me out, and I'll see you later.